everyone welcome welcome back to my channel my name is Rosalie Kinsey if you're new here if you're not thank you once again for being back so today I'm so excited because we're going book shopping we're going to books a million I've never been there before I usually go to Barnes & Noble oh I buy my books on Amazon however today we're going there it's what I think the reason why I never go to books a million is because it's way too far for me it's an hour away it's literally down south and for not at all Mm -mm. it's all the win west i don't mm -mm. i'm not doing that however today my husband is off my, the hobby is off and i just thought this is the perfect time for me to go there because he'll be driving yeah so we're going to <laughs> we're going to books a million i'm excited happy and yeah i just thought maybe i should take you guys with me and pick up some new books especially for the summer and it should be fun it should be really fun yeah i thought we should go together Let's go. Let's go book shopping. It's my favorite thing to do. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. Yeah, no, nothing's complicated. back home finally and actually can i say i really like the store i really do like it i like the vibes in there it was bright a lot of nice books a lot of people in there everyone was friendly um i like it more than bars and noble shocking <laughs> but it, it's still fully five minutes away for me and i just don't think don't think i can do that by myself because my bars and noble is five minutes maybe eight and trafficked you know but that one is far so i'm just like i don't know what to do now i did sign up for a membership so i will be going there it's just not by myself maybe my birthday you know my birthday for sure but yeah i got this bag and i went on a i went to olindo on a trip and i put some books there and i also did other some books on amazon but that's because i put all of these books because from today, starting today, we are we are on a buying book bin. I cannot buy any books in June, July, up until August 1st, which is my birthday. We'll only be buying books on August 1st. So technically, this is good. This is great. I'm not judging myself at all. It's it's great that I did that. Because I won't be buying books for two months. So yeah, let's maybe let's start with the Barks novel. And then I'll go with the books a million. So the first one that I got is the second one of the Agatar series. I have the first one, which is right here, Court of Flower and Roses, the third one. But I want to read a fantasy book for a week. So I thought, hmm, I should just get it because I don't know which book I will be reading for the week. I, I don't know yet. Well, we shall see. But yeah, I got it and I'm quite excited to read it. Hopefully, I can pick it up in the next few weeks. And quite excited because I hear... A lot of positive reviews about about this whole series and the second one that i got i'm so excited i'm really excited this wasn't my wish list for my husband to buy me for my birthday but i went and i saw it and i'm like oh well might as well get it today this is better than fiction this is my first book from alexa martin yeah alexa martin this is my first book from her however i know she has a lot of different books that i want to read but yeah a lot of people talk about her writing and it's, they said it's good and this is my first book from her i think i'm going to like it from what i from what my friend says she's a good writer and yeah i'm quite excited to read this one it's not too big it's not too big at all so i think a nice beach read this might come in handy yeah i i also really like the the cover 
It looks cool. It looks nice. It looks it looks pretty. I like it. The third one I get is Flawless by Ella Silver. Listen, I have never been so excited. No, I have. I have. But I, I'm excited for this one. I'm quite excited. This one is just the book of the summer. Because everywhere on my For You page, on Instagram, on um, Lemon Ape, everybody is just reading this book. It's a whole series, three part series. It's a three part series. However, I think you're gonna read them as standalone. So I got the first one. It's flawless, and I'm. This is about cowboy. I'm gonna love it. Yeah, these are all the three that I got from Barnes and Noble in a window. Let's do Amazon now. I'm anime. <laughs> that we got is called Violet Been Backwards Over the Grass. Violet Been Backwards Over the Grass. This is a poetry book by the singer. What is her name? I know her name. I'm forgetting it at the moment. Lana Del Rey. That's her name. I'm sorry. So recently I had a, I had a, a healthy obsession with her songs. I was listening to Summer Blues. A lot of her songs just kept coming up and I kept listening to it and then I heard that she got a, a poetry book so I went on Amazon one night and I got it and I'm actually quite excited to read it for the summer the cover just screams summer and this is the Amazon I'm actually really excited because I got okay so sorry I was supposed to post a very nice video it was me reading fantasy for a week um that got deleted by it was my fault i deleted it however i am a fantasy girl now i'm in my fantasy era can you tell you probably can't but i'm in my fantasy era because of two books and that is um once upon a broken heart and the ballad of never after when i tell you i'm ashamed to say that even if I ever said, this is my favorite book, I lie. Because now, these are my favorite book. I'm lying. I'm like, Seven Days in June is still top here. But I want to tell you, I ate these up and literally, I read Once Upon a Broken Heart in one day. One day, I was just reading this up. And I got the audiobook. I was just like, this is the perfect book ever. The second one, I had a doctor appointment on my way there. At on listening to it the whole way. I just loved it. I loved it. The review was perfect, but then I deleted it and I was just like, it's okay, it's fine. I can still talk about it. And this is what I'm telling you. If you have not read this book, listen, five out of five. I was not even done reading this book and I'm like, oh, this is a five out of five. Of course, it's a five out of five. And this one, five out of five, 20 out of 20, 20 out of five yeah it's that good i just love this book i love this book and one of the reason why i went to books and books of million is because i wanted to get the carnival series which i did but and this turns me into a fitness girl and so i searched fantasy books to to buy for beginners and these kept coming up and also someone somebody commented that they were good books to start and then i got them it was highly recommended i think everyone that i've seen read this book gives it a fast star and i think this is about this human doc this human girl she's human and she got adopted by this vampire king yeah it says the the adopted human daughter of the nightborn vampire king that sounds really interesting i also got the second one because um what i'm starting to realize is that fantasy book ends on cliffhangers and i don't like cliffhangers so i'm just like you know what let's just get the two one and yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm actually really really excited to read it to read them and i'm going to read it in a video so we shall talk about it more in the video but that all i know about this is that she was uh she was she's human and she got adopted by a vampire with wings but wings, yo. Now, books of a million. That's my membership. I got a membership. Um, this was seven dollars for the whole year, and bars and Nova was forty dollars. And I'm just like, well, oh, I'm not just kidding. No, I won't. I won't. But bars, like, this is really good. I'm quite excited for this one. Um, for my birthday, we'll definitely use it. And yeah, these are the books that I got from books a million um the first one that i got it's the carnival i want to read the whole series because jack my new my, my new boyfriend is in this book that's the only reason i'm reading them i got the first one they did not have the third one 
so I didn't get it. I got Caravel and I got Legendary and people say that you are supposed to read these first before you read Once Upon a Broken Heart or The Ballad of Never After. However, I didn't and I was fine. I understood Once Upon a Broken Heart and I understood The Legend, Legend, The Ballad the ballad of never after perfectly i don't think you need to however i'm going to read them because um i'm a fantasy girl now and because i the ballad of never after ended on a cliffhanger and it broke my heart okay it broke my heart and the third one is coming out in october october i already pre-ordered it but still in october and i'm just like you know i could be heartbroken or i could just start start this but I have these two which i'm excited to read them the third one that we got is love to love you by ali hazelwood i have another book from this author i have not read anything from her but i do this is my second book of hers i i have the love hypnotist hypothesis this is i think my oldest book in my collection i promise you however i have not read it but i saw this one i like the cover and i also feel like the cover the vibe of it just came summer and i'm just like you know what might as well pick it up and hope Hopefully, I read both of them this summer. The next one that I got is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I picked this up. I wanted to get it in Orlando, but I don't think I saw it in Barnes & Noble. But I picked it up because of the fairy tale theme park. Because we were in Orlando and we wanted to go to Disney World. And I'm just like, this is giving me The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. It's, it's just making me think like, oh, look at us in Disney World and Universal and like on dates me and my husband so yeah this is why i picked this one up because i we're going back again and i just thought perfect timing to buy this and read it and also i really like lauren usher style of writing and the last one that i have today is meet me at the lake by carly fortune okay so i mm, i read where is she every summer after by calling by that by this author I couldn't even read it. I hated this book. And I actually filmed me talking about this book. I didn't post it because I don't like <laughs> I don't like how I felt after reading this book. And I was just like, you know what? I don't want the negativity in my channel. But when I told you I was so upset after find out what mm, did not like it at all whatsoever. I remember me calling my husband and going off. I'm just like, I hate this book so much. And I'm like, I don't want now i'm saying i hated it and i also i did a short and i said i hated it but i just couldn't put myself out here this upset i was i was really upset and i don't like seeing myself being this negative um it was a book after all you get over it however i'm decided to give in her another chance and I'm, i picked up meet me at the lake meet me at the lake perfect summer book and i will be in a part by the lake reading this book yeah <laughs> um, but yeah i got this and yeah these are all the books that i got how many books did i get this time 11 books yeah but that is all that i have for today hopefully you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't you might like it here subscribe click this click the subscribe button you know you like it here if you make it all the way here but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time and you're